In this video, we'll show you how to connect and calibrate a fuel level sender to your Race Capture Pro telemetry system. We'll also show you how to average that fuel level so that you can account for slosh in corners or under braking so you get a consistent telemetry reading. To start, connect your Race Capture Pro to the Race Capture app and navigate to the setup page. Here under the set, setup page, we've selected the analog sensor page. We've connected the fuel level sensor to the first analog channel. Under the calibration window, you'll see that we have pre-calibrated the fuel level sender. We'll show you how that works. When calibrating a fuel level sender, you can do it in three steps. The first step is to empty the fuel tank of all fuel and then take a voltage reading at the sender. In this example, with an E36 BMW, we measured zero volts at the sender when there was no fuel in the tank. The next step is to fill the tank up to 50%. In this example, we measured 2.2 volts at the sender, and then we set that to 50%. When the tank is full, we measured 3.43 volts, and we set that to 100%. The remaining cells of the calibration table were just replicated with the 100% values. We then navigated to the mode section and select mapped. This ensures that the analog calibration is using the map rather than a linear or raw voltage value. We've set the sample rate to 1 hertz and then we've named the channel fuel level raw and you'll see why in a few minutes. Under the channel customization you can set the name, you can give it the units, in this case we selected the percentage symbol. We gave it a precision of zero so you you would just see whole numbers in the telemetry data and then the min and max values are zero and a hundred correspondingly. Once you are done write the configuration to your Race Capture Pro, and then you can go to the navigation page and then you can see your fuel level reading. To average the fuel level, you can go to the scripting view and add a custom behavior to your Race Capture Pro system. This involves creating a virtual channel, which we've called fuel level. The virtual channel can be assigned any value that you want, anything that can be done in the simple Lua scripting that we provide on board. In this case, we are calculating a simple moving average based on the value that is read from the analog input. This function is called from the onTick function. And if you're familiar with our Lua scripting, you'll know that this is the center of all Lua scripting on Race Capture Pro. Above the onTick function, we've set the tick rate, which sets the how the frequency that we call the onTick function. In this case, we're calling it at 30 hertz, 30 times a second. In this function, we call another function called update fuel average and we pass in a value of the analog channel that the fuel level sender is connected to. So we call get analog zero, which is the first channel, and we pass that to a function called update fuel average. The only thing this function does is calculate a moving average for the raw value being passed in, and once the average is calculated, we set the virtual channel to be the average of the raw channel. Now, if you go to our wiki, if you go to autosportlabs.com, navigate to the how-to section, which drops us in, our, in your wiki, in the wiki, you'll be able to see a number of Lua scripting examples, and this script will be among those examples. So you can just copy and paste this into your race capture configuration. To see the effect of the averaging, all you have to do is go to the race dashboard and here in the upper right hand corner you've seen the fuel level raw which is the 
direct sensor value. And then in the middle here, you will see the averaged value. So as we simulate fuel level slosh in the corners, you'll see the raw value go up and you'll see the fuel level change much more slowly, the averaged value. And there you have it. You'll find a lot more examples and information on our wiki. Navigate to autosportlabs.com and, and click the how-to section at the top of our website. Thank you very much.